was an equipment malfunction. And I don't know where the common sense went uh, because obviously it's obviously disgraceful from uh, Shakib and Bangladesh if they want to play cricket like that. Obviously, stoop down to that level. I think there's something wrong um, drastically because uh, you know if I got late, if I got past my two minutes to get to the crease, and in the law says you have to be ready within the two minutes. And I was there two minutes, 45 or 50 seconds. I still had, after my um, helmet broke off, I still had five more seconds to go. And the umpires also have uh, um, said to our coaches that they didn't see my helmet breaking. I mean, I was just asking for my helmet uh, there. So it was just pure common sense. I'm not talking about um, uh, mancading or obstructing the field here. This is just pure common sense and bringing the game into, you know, disrepute. It's absolutely um, disgraceful. Angelo, you spoke about uh, the Bangladesh players' uh, behavior being uh, absolutely not on. What about uh, the behavior of your own players, not, uh, I mean, refusing to shake hands with the opposition? Yeah, you need to respect people who respect us. Uh, it doesn't mean that, um, you know, they have to respect the game itself. I mean, we all are ambassadors of this beautiful game, including the umpires. So then, uh, if you don't respect and if you don't use your common sense, what more can you ask for? Um, Matthews, uh, so earlier in the press conference, uh, Shakib said that uh, both of you guys have a long history. You've been playing from a 19 age and uh, both, of, uh, both of you know each other and uh, he was talking and he didn't have any regrets. Any thoughts of that? Yeah, so I mean, see, up to today, I had utmost respect to him and, uh, and Bangladesh team. Obviously, you know, you all play to win. And if it's within the rule, it's fine. But the rule clearly says uh, in, my, in my incident today, within two minutes, I was there. We have video evidence. We will put out a statement later on. We have video evidence, footage, everything was looked. I'm not just, just coming and saying things here. I'm talking with proof. So uh, we have the video evidence where from the, the time was the, uh, the catch was taken. And then from the time um, I walked into the crease, I still had five seconds after breaking my helmet. Right? So we talk about safety of the players. Right? And... You, you guys tell me if it's right for me to take my guard um, without my helmet on. It's just pure common sense. And, and, and that's why I think the umpires also had a bigger job at the time because they could have at least gone back and checked. Um, so we, th we talk about player safety and a wicket keeper for the spinner is not, uh, you know, they don't let him keep without his helmet. So how can I take my guard without my helmet? It's complete equipment malfunction. Angelo, you talked about umpire's role here. Do you think these dismissals of obstructing the field and the one that you had today are too ambiguous and they need to have more clear, uh, clear uh, object uh, criteria there to be defined as a dismissal? They are, because they can argue that you were not ready to face the ball because you had a malfunction. So that's technicality comes here. So do you think uh, uh, these are very ambiguous roles, uh, ro rules and they need to be re revisited? No, I think in terms of mancading and, and say, obstructing the field, the rules are quite clear. Uh, I mean, uh, because uh, uh, the rule clearly says that if, if you're out of your crease, uh, the bowler can, um, uh, you know, break the stumps. And, and so is if you're um, in line of the stumps and if you're obstructing uh, the ball being hit uh, to the stumps, then it clearly says you're out. But here, where is the common sense? Here, I think in my, in my 15 years of career, I've never, seen, I've never seen a team going down to that level because obviously the umpires also admitted that it's you know, equipment malfunction and they could have gone upstairs and checked again. Yeah, I, I mean... What's the point, you know, not checking at that time and then, then, then saying it afterwards? Because I'm not saying if I was, you know, there, we could have won the match. It's, it's a different story. 
okay? But still, you need to have your common sense in terms of um, using technology. And also, it was clearly a malfunction. I mean, it just came off. You know, I, it, I didn't mean to, you know, pull it and break it. You know, I still had my time as well. And I was complete, you know, I was in complete shock. And the law, ultimately, uh, the decision was given by the umpire. So, do you think it was the wrong decision by them, actually? Uh, first question, second question is, uh, do you think the momentum is changed after that incident? Yeah, in my opinion, yes. Because I, if I haven't done anything wrong, uh, whose fault is it? Um, uh, well, as I said, it's a technicality, you know, which, which needs to be discussed. Because it's a World Cup game, and what happens if, if this happens in the last over when you uh, when you have three or four runs to get in the last wicket? I mean, it's, it's just pure common sense, and you just have to. I mean, it's it was not. Uh, I wasn't trying to waste time. I wasn't trying to uh, get advantage of anything. It was just pure equipment malfunction and. It just happened uh, for the very first time in my career, and I'm absolutely shocked. We have seen uh, in this press conference that you're talking about uh, that in your career in 15 years, you haven't seen this kind of attitude by a team that happened today. So uh, do you think that in your career, in the last 15 years, you haven't seen, it doesn't mean that uh, no team can complain or appeal like this kind of out? Because you know that final decision given by the umpire and in ICC media, also the fourth umpire clear about this out, that you are out. So, you are saying that Sakib and Bangladesh team were disrespectful towards you. Do you think that umpires also disrespectful towards you because they up their finger and that's why you got out? This is Riyasat. So, it's not about uh, umpires being you know, disrespectful. Uh, they could have checked. Um, yes. I think, unfortunately, it happened against Bangladesh. I, I don't think, you know, any other team would do that because it was a, it was black and white. It was equipment, you know, the helmet coming off, and uh, it was a safety issue as well um, because we know that, you know, without a helmet, I cannot face a bowler, and it was just there to be seen. It was not about anyone being disrespectful. Yes, Shakib had the option of, you know, he knew that it, you know, this was um, not time wasting, or I was there within my time, and uh, he had, he had the choice of, but he 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 decided to go the other way. And I, my personal opinion is, if it was any other team, they they wouldn't have done it. Uh, Angel, the fourth umpire, said that, uh, you know, the equipment that uh, batters, or suggested that the equipment that batters use is kind of their own responsibility. Um, what's, what's your response to that? Sorry, um, I mean, could you say that again for, for everyone to um, hear it? <laughs> yeah, so the fourth, fourth umpire said during the innings break that the equipment that batters use, or suggested that the equipment that batters use is their own responsibility. So what would your kind of your response to that be? All of you guys heard, yeah? Uh, it's, it's quite uh, laughable, I think. Uh, it's our responsibility, yes. If I went without a helmet to bat to a fast bowler, then it's my responsibility, obviously. But uh, something coming off, some equipment coming off, do you really think you know, I would know it's going to come off? It's quite... I don't understand... Uh, the logic behind what he has said. Uh, Angelou, um, the uh, follow-up to the same question, uh, the uh, fourth umpire actually during the innings break said that the batter wasn't re ready to receive the ball uh, within those two minutes, even before the strap became an issue for him. The two minutes had already elapsed. Um, do you think you came late, slightly late to the crease or yeah, your thoughts on that? Uh, if you ask the question from now, he would have a different answer. Because uh, we have evidence, video evidence. I'm not, you know, as I said, I'm not just, just saying what I'm just saying. I have the video evidence. And if anybody wants to contest it, I urge them to.
Can you explain what happened there? I mean, you yeah, I mean, uh, one of our fielder came to me and said, if you appeal, uh, uh, the law says he's out because he uh, hasn't taken his guard within the time frame. So then I appealed to the umpire. Umpire told me whether you're going to call him back or not. You know, if I said he's out, then you call him back. It doesn't look good. I said I won't call him back. You know, we played under 19 together World Cup. So I know Angelo for a long, long time since 2006. Uh, yeah, unfortunate, but uh, within the rules. <coughs> Shakib, uh, following up on that question, um, yes, it's out uh, as per the rule, but uh, in terms of spirit of cricket, did you ever think of calling him back again? Well, then ICC should look into it and change the rules. <coughs> Shakib, uh, so uh, as a batter, if you put yourself in Angelo's shoes and if uh, the same thing happened to you, what would you feel? I'll be careful. It doesn't happen to me. Yeah. Uh, Shakib, uh, on the uh, the Matthews dismissal, uh, I think his his helmet strap broke uh, as he was getting ready to face you. And uh, you know later on he came and I think he talked to you. Uh, you know after the uh, after the uh, umpires had given him out, what did he say? What was your reaction to a you know it was an equipment malfunction? I mean, as I, as I uh, told someone earlier that uh, we have been playing since uh, 2006, you know, against each other. Uh, we have played a lot of games uh, against Sri Lanka. I know him very well. He knows me very well. So he came and uh, asked me whether, you know, if I, if I withdraw my appeal or not, uh, if I want to. I said, you know, I understand your situation. It was unfortunate, but I don't want to. Yeah. yeah uh yeah, Shakib, uh, yeah. yeah, was uh, time and overrate a consideration when you uh, did not allow Matthews to continue? Sorry? Was time and slow overrate a consideration when you did not allow Matthews no, to No, I thought uh, we were not slow on overrates today. Uh, but yeah, it was in the rules that, uh, you know, batsman has to come to the crease uh, within that uh, certain period of time. Uh, and he wasn't there at that time.